So around 2012, the Zoom H2n was released. But what many people don't know is that its younger brother, the Zoom H2, was also released about five years prior. Featuring a four microphone array with built-in controls, a line-in, and headphone jack for direct monitoring, this small microphone became one of the most popular microphones to be used by content creators of all genres. Hey, what is up guys? My name is Luke and welcome back to another episode of Techno Minute. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at this guy, the Zoom H2, and this will be the first installment of my new series of what I'm calling Retro Reviews. So we'll be taking a look at Retro Tech and seeing if it stacks up to the latest and the greatest. So that being said, let's jump right into the video. Now, before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more retro reviews. All right, so we'll be breaking down this video into five categories, features, portability, ease of use, sound quality, and price. Now, starting off with features, as I mentioned earlier, the Zoom H2 ships with a four microphone array, which we'll talk about a bit more later, a built-in headphone jack, as well as line-in for external recording, and a full-size SD card for local file saves. It also features a USB 2 port to serve as a USB mic, and last but not least, it can be powered by either its dedicated charger, USB, or two AA batteries. And for such a small form factor mic, these are a ton of features packed into it. Now, I mentioned earlier that four microphone array. Basically, the H2 can use these four microphones to provide a variety of different recording environments and polar patterns. It can record both front and rear, 120 degrees super cardioid or 90 degrees cardioid. And lastly, it can use all four microphones to create a 360 degree sound for 5.1 surround sound audio. Now, moving on over to portability, this thing is tiny. And when I mean tiny, it literally fits in the palm of my hand. This means it's incredibly portable and makes transportation a breeze. Now from there, we'll move on over to ease of use. And while this mic is small, it is by no means hard to use. In my case, all I had to do was plug it into my Mac, select USB and the audio frequency, and I was ready to go. Now you can also directly record to the SD card, and this is also just as simple. It literally takes two button presses to get started. Now I'm not going to go in depth on how to use this mic, but if that's a video you would like to see, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below. So from here we'll talk about sound quality, and this is where this small mic blew me away. All the audio you're hearing right now is coming from the H2. Now yes, I have edited this audio in post, so I will now switch over to the unedited audio. And as you can hear, the audio that is produced straight from the mic is still incredibly good. The frequency response rate is 70 Hz to 20 kHz with a boost at around 6 kHz, and it records in wave 96 kHz, 48 kHz, 44.1 kHz, and 16-bit or 24-bit. Another thing is that if you want to use this mic to record instruments, from what I tested, it does great as well. Now, I am by no means a musician, but when I tested it with my guitar, the bass was clean and the mids and highs were crystal clear. Lastly, let's talk about the price. So this mic was announced in 2007 and has since been discontinued. Its younger brother, the Zoom H2n, retails for around $170. But seeing as this mic is more than 10 years old, you can find it for around $60 to $100 used. Given this, the Zoom H2 is an incredible deal at this price point. It sounds far better than my Blue Snowball Ice and my shotgun mic combined. And I will probably be switching to it as my full-time mic for the foreseeable future. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more great content like this one. If you like this style of video or have any suggestions on what I should do differently, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of March, so anything that you could do to help would be greatly appreciated. And as always, until next time, peace.